was real, was really real. Known him for a few years, worked with him on uh, a number of projects, finished his second studio album, which was uh, Barrel 2. He likes to be really creative with the things that he does and he, he knows exactly, he has that vision of exactly what he needs to do to fit the music together. I'm working on the track right now called What's Really Real. Which a lot of people can relate to. You know, a lot of people talk a lot, but is that what they're really saying? I mean, you never know. I appreciate Chino Grande from Urban Kings you know, featuring on my track. Oh boy, got some good shit to say on there. It's gonna be a high track. As an artist, he's, he's very fundamental with a lot of his words and his lyrics and his, his patterns of uh, what he comes up with. And, um, and he's really inspired to make it big. He wants to reach for you know his dreams and, and be one of the next. I made music for nobody but myself. I do it because I'm passionate about it. And I got a lot of shit to say. The first thing that I recognized that he had talent was the fact that his choruses were actually catchy and he understood how they worked and how the repetitiveness and how the, um, the rhythm had to work out in order to make it catchy. And he had that, you know, that's his natural talent. Just so happy, just people out there that feel like I feel, you know what I'm saying? So, get shit out there bumping for real. Watch out for a slow poke, homie. In the real volume, you motherfuckers out of the game, homeboy. I'm with some real shit, homie. Jack puts it on it, homie. I put it on the six, homeboy. It's gonna rip all you motherfuckers open, homeboy. Show you how it's really done, homeboy. This gangster rap shit takes a style, homie. Bitches don't know, homeboy.